everybody, I'm Robert Houston, executive producer of Western Swing Rules. Let's listen to former Texas Playboy guitarist Joe Settlemyers explain the difference between a country guitar and a Western Swing guitar. Hi, I'm Joe Settlemyers, and I'm here for Western Swing Rules, and I'm going to show you how to uh, get the Western Swing feel, and uh, maybe how to play some licks and runs in the style of Western Swing. And actually, uh, Western Swing is uh, it's a form of what you call jazz, but the jazz is just a word. It means improvisation, playing ideas on the spot from your head. Now, uh, the one thing about playing a Western Swing, most people want to play straight eighth notes, and by that I mean, that's kind of straight eighth note playing. If you're playing in Nashville, the straight eighth notes would be, That's a straight eighth note feel. But if you're playing Western swing music, it's totally different feel on the bandstand. And uh, what you gotta do is, you remember the old, that's the feel, like that kind of a feel. So if I go, Hear that feel, or that feel is always there, no matter what you're playing. That kind of a thing. So that's the feel. If you're playing a run, you want to play it like the. That kind of a feel, and that's basically the Western swing feel, you know. Now, as far as the rhythm section goes, uh, I see players all the time, and they're they're playing like this with the chords go. I worked with Bob Wills when I was 19, and uh, he didn't want me to play that way. He didn't even want me to play like Eldon, because Eldon would go... Uh, anyway, Eldon would do runs like that. But the reason Eldon did is because Bob didn't have a bass player one time, and so Eldon played the bass on the guitar. But if you notice, Bob carried two guitars. One guitar player, and here's what Bob liked. It's called the old sock beat. And if you try to first try to, it'll wear a blister on your hand here. But he hit the guitar like that. Because that, right there, it was a snare on the drum. And it made people want to dance. So if, if I do this here, one famous, that was one feel. Then another feel like a, that kind of a feel too. So there are two different things there. And uh, I don't see any young people, too many of them, playing like this. There, is, there are some young people that play like that. But uh, most bands, they don't get that Bob Wills feel or the Western Swing feel. It's not only Bob Wills, you know, the, uh, Hank Thompson had a Western Swing feel. And uh, oh, a whole bunch of them back in those days. Merle Lindsay, I played in that band for a year and a half which is, uh, turned out to be the uh, Red Foley show in Ozark Jubilee. And uh, that's basically the, the feel. You gotta have that feel when you play the solos. You can't just play the straight eighth note feel like in Nashville, uh, the country feel. It's gotta be a swing feel. You know, it's a... I go... Uh, You know, that swing feel, got a swing. And a lot of times, in playing the swing, they have, they have like, a, like a rhythm, like that. that kind of a thing, a rhythmic thing in your, in your plan, which makes the people want to get up and dance. It, it uh, does something to your nervous system when that happens. And it makes you want to play. And so that's basically the, the feel, if you can get that. But like I said, it came from the old. That kind of a feel. Right. That feel is there, no matter what I'm doing, that eighth note feel is underneath that, that music that I'm playing. And so that's basically it for playing Western Swing. Of course, you gotta learn the chords, you know. And, and another thing, talking about chords, instead of playing this here, holding one chord, 
the guitar player would play a D chord, an E minor chord with B in the bass instead of G chord. And it's a, that's what we call a sub chord. They go, and that was all G. But you're playing other chords of sub in there, you know. And they don't just they didn't they didn't they didn't do that. If you see that, that's not what it is. You wanna you wanna get that feel. That kind of feel. But the bass player and the drummer, it, gets, it makes people want to dance. And that's basically Bob Wills' thing. He made people dance and, and the dance beat. And, and when that happens, you can feel it. You'll feel it. You'll want to get up and go dance when you feel like music like that. But if the band is not playing that, then uh, it's not going to work. You won't have very many dancers on the floor. You can see it all, every time you go somewhere. If they're not playing a beat that they can dance to, you know, they're always saying, play a beat you can dance to. That's what they mean when they say that. Okay, here's a song uh, that everywhere you go, they play this, uh, and uh, there's several songs you'll hear. If you go to Western Swing Festival, you'll hear them all through the whole weekend. You'll hear every band play these songs. And this is one called Right or Wrong, and Bob Wills did this first, and Bob Wills did it different than George Strait did it. George Strait added uh, those modern chords to it, where Bob Wills didn't have it. Bob Wills just stayed on a D chord if you're in the key of G instead of doing those, so I, I, play, I played it both ways, but this way kind of went by the wayside, the old way, didn't land, like Bob did it. Okay, here we go, so, and, and I'll, this is demonstrating the feel in the music too when I do that. One, two, one, two. former Texas Playboy guitarist Joe Settlemyers in future Western Swing Rules segments. In the meantime, I hope you'll subscribe to Western Swing Rules on YouTube so that we can keep this great art form alive and keep the great music instruction coming your way. In the meantime, I'm executive producer Robert Houston. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time for another Western Swing Rules. <laughs>